Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. Today I'm going to recap the Daytona 500, college basketball NBA and NHL. Look ahead to tonight's games at HLO Three Sports and my two best bets of the day. All right, we're going to start with the Daytona 500 because it was just a great race but had a very, very scary finish. Denny Hamlin ended up taking the win which um, he was having a good race. Ryan Newman had the lead in the final lap, and then uh, Ryan Blaney, who ended up finishing in second place, um, kind of hit Ryan Newman on the side, and then Newman went into the wall and went flying in the air, and the car went upside down, and it ended up, in the grass on fire. It was a scary, scary, scary scene. And then um, he was taken to the hospital nearby. And everybody was worried there for a little while. And then eventually um, one of the uh, NASCAR people spoke to the media once they uh, found out some information. Um, and there's a statement that Brian Newman was being treated at the Halifax Medical Center, and he is in serious condition, but doctors have indicated his injuries are not life-threatening. That is very good news that, um, the injuries are not life-threatening, but it's good that he's making out of this alive, and, um, we're still praying for him. And then the rest of this was, uh, we appreciate your thoughts and prayers and ask you that respect the privacy of Brian and his family during this time. We appreciate your patience and cooperation and we'll provide more information as it becomes available. So, Ryan Newman, um, that was a brutal, brutal, brutal um, crash he was in, but he's, he has some serious injuries, but um, not life-threatening. And the not life-threatening part is the uh, the best news of this, so... Um, at least that um, he will eventually be okay. Ryan Blaney ended up coming in second. Chris Boucher ended up in third. David Reagan fourth. Kevin Harvick fifth. Clint Boyer sixth. Brendan Goggin seventh. Corey LaJoy eighth. Ryan Newman ended up ninth. Kyle Larson tenth. Austin Dillon came in twelfth. Bubba Wells fifteenth. Chase Elliott. 17th. Now I'm just doing notables. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who ended up getting the poll, came in 20th. Eric Amarola, 22nd. Alex Bowman, 24th. Joy Logano, 26th. Um, Ty Dillon, 33th. Swordson, 31st. Martin Truex Jr., 32nd. Kurt Busch, 33rd. Kyle Busch, 34th. Jimmy Johnson in his final. Daytona 500, 35th. Brad Kozlowski, 36th. And that's really it among the. Uh, Notable drivers outside the top ten, but yeah, the the Ryan Newman crash really dominated um, the headlines and overshadowed what really was a uh, great race. And um, but I'm just glad that Newman will be okay and um happy for his family and his children that um he's alive and obviously the NASCAR family and. The rest of his fans. So, um, at least Newman is like being taken care of. And again, thoughts and prayers to everybody in the NASCAR community and, most importantly, uh, Ryan Newman's family. Now we'll move on to college basketball. Um, we're going to go over last night's um, short slate of results and then look ahead to. Tonight's slate. Xavier over St. John 77-74. Notre Dame over North Carolina 76-77. Or it's the other way around. NCNT over NC Central 77-60. Bucknell over Holy Cross 69-48. Maryland Eastern over Florida and M81-71. Morgan State over South Carolina State 78-72. Bethune Cookman over Delaware State 71-70. Norfolk State over Coppice State 80-60. Alcorn State over Arkansas Pine Bluff 60-52. Texas Southern over Grambling 93-79. Southern over Mississippi Valley State 95-62. Mississippi 
Number three, Kansas over Iowa State, 91-71. Prairie View over Jackson State, 70-61. And Portland State over Idaho, 90-69. Today's slated games at 1 o'clock, you have um, Texas Rio Grande hosting Texas Perman Basin. 5 o'clock, ESPNU, St. Francis, Brooklyn at LIU. LIU is a 6.5 point favorite. I have LIU by 5. So I'm taking St. Francis, Brooklyn in the points. Although I think LIU will win. 6.30, Fox Sports 1, Illinois, number 9, Penn State. Penn State's a 6.5 point favorite. I'm taking Penn State in the points. They are um, one point of a differential between uh, my lines and them. So give me Penn State minus 7.5. CBS Sports Network, Davidson and St. Joe's. Davidson's an 11.5 point favorite. I'm going to take St. Joe's plus the 11.5. I know this will probably come back and bite me in the ass, but um, Davidson, I think, is a little overvalued, and I have Davidson by 9. So give me St. Joe's plus the points. SEC Network, Vandy at Tennessee. Tennessee's a 13 point favorite. I'm taking Vandy in the 13. I, should, I have um, Tennessee by 10.5, so I think Vandy's getting some value here. 7 o'clock ESPN 2, Oklahoma State at number 17, West Virginia. West Virginia is a 10.5 point favorite. I'm taking OK State plus the 10.5. I have West Virginia by 8.5. Um, should be um, a game that West Virginia should win, so I get the bounce back spot narrative. Um, if West Virginia wins by 10, I win my bet. So um, give me OK State plus the 10.5. I do think the Mountaineers will win. Won't be surprised if West Virginia covers the number, and I'm wrong here. Arkansas, Florida on ESPNU. Florida's a seven and a half point favorite. I'm taking Arkansas on the seven in the hook. I have Florida by seven. So um, I feel like I'm getting the half point of value here with the uh, Razorbacks. Seven o'clock ESPN, Purdue at Wisconsin. Wisconsin's a four point favorite. I am taking Wisconsin minus the four. I have Wisconsin by six. And they're playing better than Purdue right now. So give me Wisconsin minus the four. Buffalo. Hosts Ball State. You have Akron at Western Michigan. Central Michigan at Ohio. Merrimack at Bryant. Fairleigh Dickinson at Central Connecticut State. Mount St. Wary's at Wagner. Robert Morris at St. Fran, Pennsylvania. 7 o'clock ESPN Plus St. Louis at UMass. St. Louis is a three-point favorite. I'm laying the three at St. Louis. I have St. Louis by four and a half, so give me uh, St. Louis minus the points. Kent State at Eastern Michigan. Eight o'clock Big Ten Network, Northwestern at number seven, Maryland. Maryland's a 13 point favorite. I'm laying the 13 with Maryland. Should be 21 and a half. Um, Northwestern is not that good on the road. Maryland, meanwhile, is great at home, so give me the Terps at home in what should be a blowout win for them. ACC Network pit at number 8, Florida State. Florida State's a 10.5 point favorite. I have it at 12.5, so give me the Seminoles minus the 10.5. 8.30 CBS Sports Arc, number 5, Dayton at VCU. Dayton's a 3 point favorite. I have Dayton by 5.5, so I'm going to lay to 3 with Dayton. Do I feel good about it? No. There's some people that think the VCU can win this game. I do too, but my numbers are saying Dayton, so I'm trusting my numbers, so give me Dayton minus the 3. Fox Sports 1, number 15, Creighton, and number 19, Marquette. Marquette's a three-point favorite at home. I'm taking Creighton plus the points. I know I'm going to regret this one because Marcus Howard is awesome. I should um, be picking Marquette, but my numbers say Creighton, and that this should be a pick em. So give me Creighton plus the three in what should be a good game. Ole Miss at Missouri, 8-3 on the SEC arc. Um, Missouri's a one-point favorite. I am going to take Missouri minus the one. I don't feel good about it at all because I don't love this team. I think that this could be a letdown spot after the win over Auburn. But um, it looks like I'm on the right side here. So give me Missouri minus the one. And I'm going to hold my nose about it. 9 o'clock ESPN 2, number 1, Baylor at Oklahoma. Baylor's a 3.5 point favorite. I have Baylor by 7. Give me Baylor minus a 3.5. I think they're just looking for Baylor to lose here. I'm going to pick picking them until they lose, or unless my numbers say go the other way. 
ESPN number 10, Kentucky at LSU. LSU is a two and a half point favorite. I have LSU by one. So give me Kentucky plus the points. Although I think LSU will probably win. And by the way, revenge game from last year because don't forget there's a game at Rep Arena last year that, um, remember they, uh, should have called a goal 10 and they didn't, or if it was the other way around, I don't remember. But it was a controversial call on Super Tuesday last year that gave LSU the win. So um, there could be revenge here for Kentucky as they're getting two and a half at LSU. Nine o'clock on ESPNU, Nevada at New Mexico. Nevada's a one and a half point favorite. Um, I'm taking New Mexico and the one and a half. This should be a pick 'em. I think New Mexico will win the game. So give me New Mexico plus the one and a half at home against Nevada. 10:30 CBS Sports Network, Colorado State at UNLV. UNLV's a one point favorite. I am taking Colorado State in the one. I think Colorado State should be a one point favorite. So. Give me Colorado State plus the one here. Now I'm going to do NHL. Um, no NBA until Thursday. I kind of forgot about that. So I'm just going to go over last night's slate and look ahead to tonight. Flames over the Ducks 6-4. to four. Coyotes over to Islanders 2-1. to one. Panthers over to Sharks 5-3. to three. Golden Knights over to Capitals 3-2. to two. And Lightning over to Avalanche 4-3 to three in overtime on a goal by Nikita Kudrov. All right, tonight's slate. Not that big for a Tuesday. 7 o'clock, Blue Jackets Flyers. 7 o'clock, NBCSN. The Maple Leafs at the Penguins. Should be a fun game. Um, two solid teams. Um, I'm just going to go with Pittsburgh at home. And, um, I just don't love Toronto on the road. So give me uh, Pittsburgh at home tonight. 737 are Sabres. Um, Canadians, Red Wings. 8 o'clock, the Devils at the Blues. The Hurricanes at the Predators. And the Kings at the Jets. Okay. Best bet. Of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, some interesting um, choices for me. Um, I, for college basketball, will be going with Maryland minus the big number. Um, I really don't like taking big favorites very much. By this thing, this is an opportunity for me to jump on the Terps while I think they're undervalued. So give me the Maryland Terrapins minus the 13 and a half. All due respect to um, uh, Merrimack, who's a two point dog at Bryant. I have Merrimack by seven. So Merrimack would have been a good one, but I'm going to go with Maryland because I feel like I have a bigger edge on that one. So um, give me Maryland minus a 13 in that spot. And then in hockey, there's a couple dogs I like. Toronto's not one of them. I gave that away. Um... I am going to go with the Columbus Blue Jackets at Philly as my underdog pick. Philly's awesome at home, I know. Columbus is playing pretty well. They're coming off that loss to the Rangers and then that win at the Devils. This may not be the best pick on the board, but I think this has the most value. So give me the Blue Jackets. Plus 125 at the Flyers for my other best bet of the day. Hopefully bounce back here because I went 0-2 because I took the Capitals at Vegas and I took um, Notre Dame at home against UNC and none of them came through for me, although Notre Dame did win. All right, I'll be back tomorrow recapping college basketball, NBA, or college basketball and NHL. 
looking ahead to tomorrow night. Maybe I'll do my NBA redraft at some point this week. Maybe I'll do that on Thursday. And we'll also uh, preview the Mass Singer a little bit for tomorrow night as well as uh, the Lego show. Hope you guys have a great day, everybody.